Welcome back to our next tutorial where we will be working with the Frame Text tool. The Frame Text tool is right below the Artistic Text tool. First, I select my Move tool, click and drag, make the font a bit smaller, move it to the top left. Now I have space for my Frame Text tool, click and drag, here is my Frame Text. With the Move tool selected, you can alter the text frame, the size, move it up and down. You could also shear it, which I don't want at this moment. You could also rotate it later on. With the shift key again, 15 degrees changes. But right now I would like to choose my frame text tool and just add on some text. I can either type or I can say right click and insert filler text. Filler text will fill up your frame, but is not really editable. Go right click and say expand field. Now you have the possibilities to change the fonts you like. Now let's say I double click this font. Hold down the command key. I can double click this font. I can double click this word. I would like to have this font bold or maybe even a different color. Now to alter the font, we have different options. Double click is selecting the word, triple click is selecting the whole line, and if you click four times, you can select the whole text, or five times it selects it all. Now to reduce the font size, we can either work up here and just say, okay, I go in here and choose a different font size. I can go to the right and say I would like to have it centered, right aligned, or block, or you can add on bullet points. Now resizing the frame, you have different options as well. You can drag here and the frame adjusts itself and the text, if you go a little bit smaller than the text, it appears below. You can recognize it with a red eye. As soon as you see a red eye there, that means the text is hidden below the text frame. So you have two choices. Move the text frame so the eye disappears or, or double click and delete the text you don't need. Another option you have is on the bottom right you have a small bullet point. If you click on that bullet point you can see the text adjusts itself to the frame. If you choose the bullet point below you can actually alter the frame and the font at the same time in proportion. Instead of adding on filler text or typing by yourself, you also have the possibility to go under File, Place. I go into my workshop number two and here I have a text document and I say open and I add on the text and now you can adjust it and use the fonts you like. In the next tutorial we'll be learning how to create own character styles and also we'll be learning how to create our own paragraph style.